Hi there, this is Teresa from Teresa's Crochet Shop, and in this video I'm going to show you several of my favorite ways to sew details onto my crocheted animals. For example, I'm going to show you how to sew stitches on top of the eyes and below the eyes, and I'm going to show you an embroidered nose and eyebrows and a few other things. I'm also going to show you a few different ways to secure these stitches so they don't pull out. If you check the description box below, I'll have timestamps for all these different steps if you want to skip ahead to what you're looking for. Okay, I'm going to start off with this cow head that I'm making, and I used 18 millimeter black safety eyes here, and I'm going to be sewing two stitches above the eye and one stitch below the eye. So I've cut a strand of cream plus yarn that matches my cow's head, and I'm going to insert it through the opening at the bottom of the head and out beside the eye. I've already secured the backs onto the eyes. If you haven't put the backs onto the eyes, then the stitches will slide behind the eye, and trust me, it's frustrating. So go ahead and put the washers on the backs of the eyes, and then sew one stitch, and then I'm going to bring the needle back out to the opening, and then a second stitch. And then I'm going to weave the needle through the head and out to the other eye and do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so I've now sewn two stitches above each eye. And because this head is open, I'm going to take the beginning and ending yarn tails and I'm going to tie those in a knot. Okay, I've sewn two stitches now above each eye and I've secured that yarn. Now I could leave it as is um, with just the stitches above the eye. I did that on my dragon pattern. I just did two stitches at the back of the eye without any white here. Really, you can mix and match these stitches for whatever look you like on your animal. For the cow, I decided to go ahead and also do a white stitch underneath the eye. I just like the shape that it gives the safety eye to have those stitches around it. So for the stitch underneath the eye, I'm using white number four acrylic medium weight yarn, and I'm going to push it through the opening at the bottom of the head and out and sew one stitch below each eye. And then I'm going to secure it the same way that I did with the cream plush yarn by tying the two ends in a knot. So now you can see how the eyes look with the two stitches above and the white stitch underneath. On a couple of my animals, I actually just do the white stitch underneath. For example, on my hermit crab, I just did one white stitch under each eye, and then I also did that on my turkey. And it just takes trying different things and seeing what fits the personality of the animal that you're making. Okay, next up we have this plush giraffe. And I'm going to be sewing some eyelashes onto this giraffe. So I've cut a strand of medium weight black acrylic yarn. And since the head and body of the giraffe are already attached, I can't secure the strand on the inside of the head like I did with a cow. So I'm going to show you how I will secure the yarn for that. But go ahead and insert your needle into the head anywhere and out beside the eye. And then when you pull the strand through, just be sure to leave a beginning yarn tail that's long enough for tying in a knot in just a minute. Then sew one stitch above the eye. And then weave your needle back through. And sew one tiny stitch at the back of the eye for the first eyelash. and then another stitch right here next to it.
Now we have an eyelid and some eyelashes, and I'm going to weave the yarn through the inside of the head and out beside the other eye. And so one stitch above the eye. And then two little stitches that are just one stitch wide at the back of this eye to make the other eyelashes. Now weave your yarn back through the inside of the head. And if your head and body of your animal are not attached, you could go ahead and tie the beginning and ending yarn tails in a knot the normal way at the opening at the bottom of the head. But since this head and body are closed, I've weaved the beginning and ending yarn tails out to the same exact spot right here. And then I'm gonna tie these two ends in a knot And then I'm going to cut these yarn tails to be the same length and thread those onto my yarn needle and then pull them inside the head. Okay, so now that the eyelashes are finished, I'm going to add some little pink cheeks. So I've cut a strand of plush pink yarn and thread it onto my yarn needle. And I'm going to bring my needle out at the bottom right corner of the eyes, again leaving a yarn tail for securing in a minute. And then I'm going to sew one tiny stitch here. And then I'm going to do two more on top of that one so that it's nice and visible. Then I'm going to weave this strand through the inside of the head and repeat on the other side. Then I'm going to weave the pink yarn through the inside of the head and back out or the beginning stitches as I did before to tie these in a knot and secure them that way on the outside of the body and then pull them on the to the inside of the head. Okay, so now the eyelashes and the pink cheeks are finished on this giraffe and of course you could just add pink cheeks on the animal that you're making if that's the look that you like. So whether you secure your yarn details on the inside of the head like I did with this cow or on the outside of the head like I did with a giraffe you might still want to add another level of security so these yarn details won't pull out even after hours and hours of playing with them. So to do that I like to use a little bit of fabric glue. So I'm going to show you how I do that and you will need a napkin and a toothpick and then a fabric glue of your choice. I'm using Fabri-Tac. This glue is non-toxic after it dries and it's also washable so it's perfect for crocheted animals. Now the stitches that I'm going to be securing are the stitches above and below the eyes on this cow. So I'm using the toothpick so I don't get a huge glob on the on my crocheted animal all at once but I'm going to get a little glob onto my toothpick and then even with that tiny little bit I'm going to rub some of it off because I really just want a little bit on there and then I'm going to pull this stitch back and I'm going to put this glue right here under the eye and then I'm going to use my toothpick to press that stitch down into the glue This glue takes 24 hours to dry, so you'll want to wait that full length 
before testing it. But I want to show you just how well it works on this hermit crab, which I did a few days ago. You can try to pull up on this stitch, and it will not at all because I glued down these white stitches. Next up, I have an otter head that I'm working on, and I'm going to be sewing a pink nose and some eyebrows onto this otter. So first of all, I'm going to grab a strand of pink plush yarn for the nose, and I'm going to insert my needle through the opening at the bottom of the head, leaving a little bit of extra yarn here at the opening for tying in a knot later on. Now there are six stitches in between these two eyes, so I'm going to sew the nose onto the middle two stitches. And I'm simply going to do as many stitches as I think look good for the nose that I'm making. For this otter, I think I'm going to do about three stitches. You could do more or less based on the look you want on your crocheted animal. Now I'm going to secure this pink yarn by tying the two ends in a knot and tucking those ends inside the otter's head. So now that the nose is finished, I'm going to be adding some eyebrows. I love to add eyebrows to my crocheted animals. They just add so much personality and a couple little stitches. Now for my plush animals, I will either use black yarn or embroidery floss for the animal. Honestly, I use them interchangeably and it just depends on the animal which one I decide to use. But if I do decide to use black yarn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the strand apart into halves so that I'm only going to be sewing the eyebrows with half of the original thickness of the yarn. A full black strand is too thick and sometimes embroidery floss is too thin but a half strand of black yarn seems to be just perfect. So I'm going to thread that half strand onto my yarn needle and then I'm going to insert it through the opening at the bottom of the head and out one row above the eyes, leaving a beginning tail for securing with a knot later. Then I'm going to sew a slanted stitch that is two stitches wide for the first eyebrow. And do the same on the other side. Once you've checked that the eyebrows match and you're happy with how they look, then you can secure those eyebrows by tying the beginning and ending tails in a knot and tucking those inside the head. And now I'm going to show you one last animal where I sew eyebrows on with embroidery floss. Next up is this butterfly, and I'm going to be showing you how I sew a little smile and some eyebrows. Now I tried using a half strand of black yarn on my butterfly, and I did not like how it looked. It just looked too bulky for some reason. So I'm going to be using black embroidery floss for this butterfly's smile and eyebrows. Now because the head and body are already closed, I'm just going to insert it anywhere inside the head and out between the eyes leaving a beginning yarn tail for securing with a knot later on. Then to sew my smile, I'm going to sew a horizontal stitch that is two stitches wide and bring the needle up below that horizontal stitch and make sure that it's centered. And then I'm going to grab that initial stitch and insert my needle back into that same spot. Now, if you get an embroidered smile the way you like it on your first try, you're doing better than I am because it always takes a couple tries to get the smile the way you want it on your crocheted animal. So don't be afraid to pull it out and redo it until you're happy with it. Now you can either weave this floss back through to this beginning tail and secure that with a knot, or if you're going to make some eyebrows, weave your floss through to one round above the eyes and sew a slanted stitch above each eye. Okay, so double check that you like the placement of the eyebrows. 
and then you can secure the two ends with a knot. So whether you decide to add a nose or some eyebrows or maybe some stitches around the eyes, I hope I've given you some fun ideas to add personality to your own crocheted animals. Thanks for watching!